Hey y'all. I know, new location. I'll explain later. <laughs> Long story short, I haven't been home in a little bit, but... <laughs> so, I love stereotypes. Love and hate them. I think they're funny. <laughs> I hate when they're... true but untrue, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, there's this element, but it's not quite like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I get stereotyped a good bit, honestly online and, real, and in real life because it seems like especially on the right wing side of youtube in the comment section if i show up <laughs> with my profile picture it's like oh female and a goth she's a feminist it's like no 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 <laughs> and um oh what's a good example like i used to have green hair when i was in high school it was my i think junior or senior year i can't remember exactly and I remember this one kid in a class of mine, we were walking to um, our next class and he was like, I think I said something like mildly right wing in class or something. And he, he was like, oh, I didn't know you were da da da. <clears throat> and I'm like, is it the green hair? And he goes, yes. <laughs> and it's like, I know I look like a feminist, by the way I dress and, and yada yada. I just like the fashion. And even then, some of the shit they do is like, please stop. <laughs> you know, I, I'm i more of a Steven X impersonator kind of style. And they're more of a, why, why did you leave the house like that kind of style? <laughs> but when it comes to just like, not only stereotypes, but how they butt up against individuality, that's one thing I genuinely hate. Because, like, yeah, you know, I I do enjoy positive stereotypes, and stereotypes exist for a reason, obviously. But when they are weaponized, it can be kind of cutting. And whether it's true or not, that's where it hurts the most. I think it's like, sorry I'm, like, looking out the window, because, like, I'm like, ooh, nature. But... <laughs> And I just scrambled my thought process. One second. Oh yeah, I remember now. But when it came to just, like for instance, navigating through school and life in general, I was always just the oddball out, you know, just the weirdo. And in elementary school, that really fucked me up because it's like, no matter, like there was one, especially this one group, it was, the horse girls were actually the popular ones at my school. And I, it's like, I liked horses. Fuck it, I grew up in the country. I see horses all the time. <laughs> I grew up on a farm. My neighbors had horses. I grew up on a poultry farm, but I still got to see horses all the fucking time. I grew up on a dirt road, and they would always feel the need to go out after it rained and just put potholes in there because the, their hooves would just scrape out, like, a bowl's worth of dirt. But anyway, I'm rambling. I wanted to fit in with the horse girl crowd so bad. I remember getting this shirt that had a horse on it, and I remember wanting to sit with them at, in, like, art class or whatever. They just talked amongst themselves. Didn't matter if I assumed the role... They didn't, they didn't want to fuck with me, and that's still kind of bit, but I had to just grow my own personality. I had to say, essentially, fuck all you people, I'm gonna carve out my own path, and that's what I, always what I've done from a really young age. So, like, I've always hated to be fit into a box that I, I especially don't belong into, because I've never really been able to fit neatly into a box. Like, the whole, I remember the whole BuzzFeed character quiz, which blank are you? I remember my friends in high school doing that shit. It's like, oh, I'm a this character. I'm I'm a this Hogwarts house. I'm like, they gave me this, but I don't really agree with it. I <clears throat> I would always get the you're like that. You're sixty percent like this. You're forty percent like this. It's never like any like really high percentage, honestly. Fucking, <laughs> I think sixty is probably the highest I usually got on those character quizzes. And especially when it comes to just, like, um, interest in general. I have such a wide net of interests that it's, like, especially in school, hard for me to focus on a career path. Because, like, I love, I went into game design and animation and just general infotech stuff like that. But I was also interested in, like, and took classes in horticulture and, um, what was the other one? I took guitar and photography and just other shit like that and so to have this wide net of random shit 
people are like, oh, that's so cool, you... I don't want to say, I don't want to toot my own horn saying that. I just rolled my own eyes, just that coming out of my mouth. But it's like, oh, you you know a lot about this, and you know a lot about that. That's that's really neat. You're like a renaissance man or woman, because I've, I've always heard that term, and honestly wanted to be that when I first learned that, but there's a pitfall. It's like, when you're the jack of all trades, you're the master of none. You know, I've always heard... It's good to be a jack of all trades, but never heard the but master of none part until I got to like my mid to late teens, which lovely, <laughs> lovely. But <laughs> like for instance, in in my high school, I wanted to take as many different varieties of classes that I possibly could. You know, I wanted to learn about space and biology and like how to develop a photo. Like my school literally had a dark room and everything for that, <clears throat> and so. When you're pinned into one box, especially one that just completely doesn't fit you, I really fucking hate that. And especially in back in the world of politics, we're looping back around, like I'm Jen Saki, we're gonna loop around. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be labeled feminist or left wing because I look like this. And like I don't have the dyed hair. I used to. I used to have purple hair and I had green hair. <laughs> And I, I kind of want to dye my hair again, but I almost want to just keep it like a general red because not only is it a very convertible look and I like being able to, you know, change completely like I can go in incognito. I'm a cosplayer. That's, that's like one fun thing about it. But that's another thing. <clears throat> the, the convertibility of like just being able to flow from this style to flow to this, this area of interest. If you were neatly fixed into one box, I, I genuinely can't understand it. Because, like, do you not have an interest beyond your one or two things? I understand being super narrowly focused into something and just having that be your whole entire world, but I don't get having such a, like, the blinders on, essentially. Like, I just see horses with the blinders. Do it must be. Do city folks even realize that's where it came from? <laughs> but, um... Oh, God. I just remembered a great story. There was this girl in my middle school, I think, like, theater class or acting, whatever, but... This is a class everyone took. But, um, she was a cheerleader, and she was just like, Ah, oh, can you see that? A ponytail right on top of the head with a big bow and shit. And... I think we're talking about, like, radio stations and music, like, because a lot of kids would drive to school, only... I went to a massive fucking place. <laughs> so, a lot of kids are at school, and we're talking about, like, what radio station do you listen to? And we're like, what music do you like? And I'm just like, oh, I kind of like stuff from the 70s, like, stuff from the 80s, some stuff from the 90s and 2000s, kind of. And she's like, I just kind of like whatever's on the radio. It's like... You just like whatever they're playing, like not a genre, or, and she's just like, pop music, I'm just like, so whatever, just popular. Okay. <laughs> like, I was like, do you, do you not have some kind of, like, thing that your heart goes to? That <sighs> I was talking about stereotypes, but, again, this, <laughs> this, this really feels like, I'm, I'm also sitting on my sweater, this really feels like it, it's, joined at the hip, both individuality and stereotypes, and I know I am not eloquent enough to <laughs> piece them together. I'm just the weirdo that has the the spouting random fragments of an idea, and I try to string them together in a video, but I'm also retarded, so. <laughs> I think I'm a fuck off now, because my phone's on like 12%. I'll see you later. Bye.